they look like they're very popular on the one year chart. Now let's look at the five year. Again, went down, went up. Um, hasn't grown anything this year. So it doesn't look like Wall Street uh, favors it. They did, oh wow, they did offer a special dividend in 2017 and 2018. But nothing, nothing interesting. Just looking at the regular dividend in 2017, six cents, 2018, eight cents, plus the special dividends, a few pennies here and there. Um, 2019. 10 cents and then in 2020 they just paid the same 10 cents no raise so they look like a regular bank stock i'd stay away from it because i don't see a lot of liquidity liquidity um basically i don't see a lot of people buying or selling this stock based on these flat lines so next up i have Let's look at the line here, W, V, F, C. It's under the 200, but I still stay away from it. It's just not even worth it. G, L, B, Z. Let's look at the one year. Another one with flats on it. I don't like that. Another cheap company. It's not even worth it. I stay away from it. A 36 million market cap. This has, what is its, what is its focus? Same bank. Maryland Bank, they do work with automobile dealers, but I don't think they are a national bank. Yeah, they're mainly just in one state. Uh, let's see if they pay the dividends. They do, and all they pay is 10 cents every year. They haven't raised it at all. Uh, yeah, stay away from it. And let's see real quick. Yeah, it's just got over the 200 moving average but i stay away from it anyway a lot of these banks are just pretty much trash so we have next is sb nyp so we have the one year i like these lines okay so we went from last year to around 24 all the way to like 25 oh it's only gone up a dollar so they have offices in new york segment in new york um doesn't seem like they are national or other states just i work with uh broker dealers and a securities group They do pay dividends. They cut their dividend. They, uh, interesting. In March of this year, they paid a dividend of 36 cents. Then, three months later, they paid a dividend, but they cut their dividend. So I guess they were testing the words to see more or less how much they would give out. But um, yeah, it's just awful. Cut their dividend. Uh, I stay away from the stock. And the stock is dropping as well. So even if you bought it last year, you only receive maybe a dollar increase. That's it. So that's pretty much it. Next up, we have HVBC. We are like close to done, guys. I only have a few more stocks I'm trying to just breeze through this. So we have HVBC. This bank is, let's see where they are located. Another one in Philadelphia, the northeast corner, New Jersey and Delaware. Primary focus is on residential mortgage loans and real estate loans. Definitely a great focus right now. Uh, home equity loans and lines of credit. So if that's what they're into, that's definitely going to do good. Now let's look at the chart. Hopefully it shows up. I don't know what's going on. My computer's probably slow or something. Hopefully it shows up and I'm almost done. 
Let me refresh it, hopefully. Oh no. Come on. Don't tell me my internet is acting up. Come on. Don't tell me I have to um let's go to better performance. Still have battery life. I'm just gonna give it a minute, hopefully. Thank you guys for being patient. This is probably a little bit slow. So sorry for the delay. So I like see this is what sucks. I like their focus, but the stock hasn't grown like it has. I mean I think I think this one has potential. I definitely think this has potential. I think this should be watch listed. So if you've seen the other stocks, typically a one to two dollar increase in price over the year that's definitely not a good sign um something north of ten dollars or a little above ten dollars so basically a dollar a month which is pretty decent again i like this is just me this is my personal opinion i like their primary focus um i like how also they can more or less have access to major cities because we have Philadelphia, New Jersey, Delaware. I don't think that's a major market. But again, just with New Jersey and Pennsylvania, those are two big major markets and major cities that they can reach out to uh, and large populations, especially in the Northeast. Uh, I do like the uptrend here. Uh, and I haven't even looked at the dividend. So they paid a special dividend last in 2018. That's okay. So since they're not paying dividends, definitely this looks like a growth stock to me. This is definitely a contender for um, being watch listed. Definitely looks good for it to be watch listed. So we have H. VBC, it is over the 200 line. So, let's look at the one year real quick. So, it went from basically 15 all the way to 20, uh, what, 22, let's say right about now. So it has potential, is what I'm saying. It has the potential to go up. Uh, I think right now, it can drop maybe. I want, I'm not going to say I'm going to try to be greedy. But I think I'd rather wait a few, one more week to see what happens here. But this definitely can be watch listed. Definitely. So... I like that one to be watch listed. So moving on to the next one, we have M B I N N. We have Merchants Merchants Bank Corp. So the market cap is 159 billion. Sorry, million. Sorry, 159 million. Let's look at the one year. Um, not much going on. Only a one dollar increase for the year. It's horrible. Just, just. I didn't even look at the, the profile, just uh, that chart is pretty pretty boring, to be honest. It's gone up, yeah, but it's kind of remained in the same price range, like a dollar, a lot. You're going to see a lot. Of, there's so much competition in the banking sector that, you know, you, you can find a few good growth stocks. It's just a matter of um, researching, like I said. So, um... I don't like this one. Again, um, it's nice that it gone up, it has gone up, and you know, kind of remained the same. It hasn't gone down, but it's just not moving fast enough. I think uh, they are a diversified bank, 
and again, it's good to get insight as to a focus of what they do, because that way you kind of you kind of learn and know what makes money and what doesn't. Even though Wall Street might say, "Oh yeah, let's just pick this stock because it's pretty pricier than other stocks, and then other people can't afford it or whatnot, or maybe because of the dividends or." You know, just it might be a good company, but they still try to, um, you know, just pretty much manipulate the stock. But uh, there are good stocks out there, again, uh, fundamentally and technically. You just have to uh, do the homework and then research and find them. So the focus that they have, okay, they do small business Lending, which is good. Government sponsors, okay. Um, residential loans, that's definitely good. Commercial loans are risky, depending where. And depending what's going to happen to the commercial building, is it going to be torn down or they still... Either it's going to be replaced or they're going to use the existing building. And right now, commercial buildings are risky because um, there's just more of a trend with people staying at home and ordering online, whether we like it or not. And uh, it's just more convenient. And then even with the coronavirus now, it still forces us to stay home and order stuff. And, you know, people order stuff online all the time. I'm not saying 100%, but maybe... A quarter of the things you order, or maybe half of the things you order, may be online. So, I do not like this stock, but I'm going to look at it uh, technically. It looks pretty flat. I don't even have a 200 moving average on this. Um, again, it just looks flat. It looks boring to me. Um, but if somebody wanted to jump into this stock... I say it's a good time to jump in, actually. It's a pretty decent time to get in. So moving on from the next one, we have uh, MSVB. Let's jump on that one. So we only have the last five left. I don't like the chart. Pretty flat and boring, even though it's under the 200. hasn't grown that much. Um, I'd pass on this automatically just automatically i don't like it so we have a uh, uh, southern bank mid southern they do uh, mortgages mortgage lending they also do automobiles manufactured homes not secured by permanent dwellings and recreational loans so Dividends are just horrible. Jeez, not even an increase. So, <coughs> moving on. VB, FC. So, market cap, 83 billion. Nice little growth right there. I like that. So, basically, last year, it went from $30 all the way to 55 That's a $20 difference from then and now. Even though you have some flat lines, it's gained momentum again, which is pretty good. Uh, Village Bank and Trust. This is definitely a growth stock just by looking at it. Definitely, let's see what they do. Commercial and real estate. Again, another one of real estate. And um, they do commercial banking and mortgage banking. So yeah, definitely by that chart they have gained. They don't pay a dividend. It's weird. A lot of these banks pay dividends. A lot of them pay dividends. So what what I'm starting to notice is the banks that do not pay dividends, they actually want to grow and reinvest into the stock. So which that's even better and that makes more sense. So definitely this is a watch list. This is definitely a growth stock. Uh and again, you've seen the bad stocks in this same video. So let's look at it on this chart. Look how fast it's growing. It, it's, see, so it's grown from the mid-30s 
of last year. Let's click at the one year. So low 30s, then it went to mid 30s in February. Then it went up again. I don't really see much of a flat period. Only here. That's the only flat period that I see. So this is from May all the way to like mid to late September. So we're talking about five months. June, July, August, September. And then it started to pick up in October. And yeah, even from October, it, even though it's gone up $2, that was still a good enough move for it to gain momentum with those $2 going up. And it's gained again in towards the end of October and it ended up like at least a $5 increase in price for the month of October. And it looks like, yeah, so October gave it that momentum again. So it looks like it's going to continue going up. Definitely a growth stock. I will add this to your list. Definitely jump into it. Definitely, definitely like this stock. So again, they do not pay a dividend, but uh, they have a good focus and uh, they have good pricing power and good numbers. So the next one. Next one up, I have HMPT. We're almost done. So let's look at the one year. Oh, that's a big drop, and that that's a very, that's too that's too much of a cheap stock. Like I wouldn't go anything below ten dollars. Um, I stay away from this stock. I don't even want to read about it. Just looking at the at the at the chart and the numbers. Yeah, I stay away from it. I don't even want to look at this numbers. I haven't even looked at this or reading about it. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't touch any stock. I don't care if they're the best stock in the world or if they're a growing stock. If they're not above $10, yeah, that's pretty risky. And I've learned that lesson um, years ago. So let me, uh, I had one question one time. What if it was above $10 and then a year later or months later it dropped below $10? Well, that's why you put a stop loss if you're trading it, but fundamentally, if you're holding it for long term, honestly, this is just my opinion. <clears throat> if you still believe they're a credible uh, company, not even as a stock, if you still believe they're a strong company, like looking at their website, um, same, I wouldn't say same management team, but most of the people on the management team are still there. Their goals are the same, or they have uh, the same focus on the business, which is usually a good thing. They haven't changed their focus, but they might have added on more focuses onto their business plans, <clears throat> which is good. And sometimes that does take manpower. So you can also see, hopefully you can see, if they hired more employees. And that's usually a good sign. <clears throat> and if not, then you have to look for some kind of positive news or sales. Something good from the company that, that you can actually say, okay, I still believe in it. They, they've... Increase their revenue or they or both you know they increase their revenue and earnings or both either one or the other or their cash flow as well or they're paying down debt <clears throat> there has to be basically a string of good financial factors for you to say okay I'm still gonna be in this for the long run. And um, I've taken a hit on one stock. I'm not going to say what it is, but um, I still believe in it. And it's it, I took a hit <clears throat> this whole year. And it's dropped down really only like, <clears throat> I say six bucks. It doesn't seem like much, but still a loss is a loss. But I still believe in the company. So it's going up again, So which is a good sign. So, yeah, I'd stay away from this company. Um, 
But if you still want to look if it pays dividends, it does. So they cut their dividend, as you can see. Um, I think that's why people even jumped out in November, which made it even worse. So, um, yeah. I stay away from that stock. So next we have... So HMPT. So we just have... Two last stocks. And I promise this is done. I promise this is done. Two more stocks and this is done. I don't know what's going on. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... The one year, pretty flat. It's gone up, then it's gone down. 